Margaret Abrams, the executive director of the Rose Andam Center, and I am so <laughs> I am overwhelmed at all of you that are here, and I am so pleased to welcome you today and joining us in the grand opening of this wonderful facility. Today is definitely a day of celebration and gratitude. Celebration in reaching this momentous occasion and the remarkable milestone this represents in offering easier access to services and resources to thousands of domestic violence victims and their children as they seek a path towards safety and hope. Celebration in our community coming together to create this fabulous resource in which victims and their children can feel safe, welcome, and valued at a point in their lives where they may feel most discouraged and disheartened. It is certainly a day of gratitude, as this day would not be possible without the generosity, time, and expertise of so many of you that are here today. I want to say a special thank you to the partner agencies of the Rosandum Center and those of you who have participated in an untold number of meetings over the last decade, dedicating thousands of staff hours to ensure that the partnerships and programs offered here would be of the highest quality and those necessary to best serve the victims in our community. The core partners of the Rosandum Center over the past 10 years have included Safe House Denver, Project Safeguard, Colorado Legal Services, the Blue Bench, the District Attorney's Office, the City Attorney's Office, Project PAVE, the Coalition for the Homeless, um, the Denver Domestic Violence Coordinating Council, the Denver Department of Human Services, Denver County Court Probation, the Denver Police Department, Denver Children's Advocacy Center, Servicios de la Raza, and Healing from the Heart, among others. So please take a moment to talk to them today about their services and how they are partnering with the Rosandum Center. Lots of those folks also have name tags. Um, we certainly look forward to a growing community of partner agencies as word spreads about the impact that we can have here. I also want to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to the team at Oz Architects for all they have done to design. <laughs> They've put incredible thought into designing this spectacular space. And in particular, Joe Levy, who is here, Bud Thompson, and the attention to every detail and countless hours that have been contributed to Robert Wilsey which I know they're all here somewhere. Our general contractor, Melinda White. They have also done an amazing job in bringing this space to life and ensuring that the construction stayed on schedule. I think it's a bit of an understatement to say that this has not been the usual construction project for any of them. Both Oz and Melinda White quickly came to understand there would be added layers of involvement as we tried to ensure that all the partners had input on the design and all of the renovation details. <laughs> Every one of their team has gone above and beyond in carrying out this project, from participating in multiple meetings to soliciting donations from subcontractors, to finding creative ways to keep costs down without compromising the quality of the job. Everyone has put in additional time and exhibited unending patience with our questions about cost, technology, permitting issues, and all kinds of other details that my social work background did not help me with in the construction project. Um, my gratitude to Darren Hinton, Rob Moreau, and the fabulous team that they assigned to this project, um, Grayson, Scott, Jeff, Chuck, and John, who are also here as well, um, cannot be measured. You have all shown such great care and dedication in all we've done here.
I can't really say that I'm ready to take on another construction project, but if I do, I'm going to be calling you. I'm not doing it without you. Um, let's see, I also want to thank um, Cole Finnegan and Sierra Russell for all of the help that they've offered through Hogan Lovells in shepherding us through a lot of the legal issues and details in making this project work. And Rose, I want to say a special thank you to you for believing in the vision that we brought to you and believing in the right of victims to have, us, to have safe access to resources and hope in a better life. I am also grateful for your courage in sharing your own story, your desire to reach out and help others, and inspiring so many others in our community to invest in creating a place of healing and hope for victims and their children. I look forward to continuing to work with you to make the Rose Andam Center one of the best family justice centers in the country. Don't start, Rose. I'm going to be right there with you. <laughs> I have been so honored to be part of this journey over the past decade and could not have contributed to where we are today without the support of the Denver District Attorney's Office. Mitch, I want to thank you for allowing me to be part of such a special project and for the leadership that you've offered to ensure that the Rose Andam Center would become the reality that it is today. Your willingness to talk to any group at any time about the vision of the Rose Andam Center has generated incredible support from donors, from community members, other service providers, and other jurisdictions. Amen. And I would also be remiss without extending my heartfelt gratitude to all the incredible talent and time devoted by your lovely wife, Maggie. Her knowledge, grace, compassion, and tireless persistence have made everything about today possible. We are also incredibly fortunate that she has agreed to be the inaugural chair of the Rosandum Center Board of Directors. And speaking of which, we do have a wonderful board of directors to move the Rosandum Center into the next phase of operations. The 17-member board has jumped in and already taken on numerous tasks to ensure our ongoing success, for which I am personally very grateful. Um, will those of you board members that are here kind of do a raise your hand? I know there's several of you. Thank you.